my god, I hate Stardust. Slash Cody Rhodes, slash Dashing Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Alrighty, that was just... finisher. Last week, I think it's gonna be Apollo Crews versus Stardust tonight. Crap! I missed the Apollo Crews match. I was getting my ice cream. I could that he won again though. Go ahead, make my new day. Draw. Is that like fifth or I think like his fifth or sixth win? WWE never wants to be heard talking about that. This is gonna be huge. A growl. He's really good. I like Apollo Boots. He's an amazing athlete. Alright, so I'm probably gonna do a the reaction of. I'm probably gonna. I'm like, I guess I, I only know who won, so I'm like. But I don't know how he won. Oh, he probably just did his move. Oh, wait, now there's another commercial break. Dang it. Tonight I was supposed to host an edition of the Ambrose Asylum, but I told Shane McMahon tonight there will be no Ambrose Asylum. You see, after getting attacked from behind and left laying last week, I'm not really in the mood for fun and games. So even though I do make a surprisingly good talk show host, this Sunday at Payback, there ain't gonna be no talk shows because this Sunday at Payback, I face a six-time world champion this Sunday. I face one of the best superstars to ever step foot in this ring. This Sunday at Payback, I face Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho loves to say that he's the best in the world at what he does, and he likes to say it a lot. And over the past couple of months, heck, he's made quite a case for himself, but I'm pretty good at what I do, too. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Jericho likes to talk about how great he is. He demands respect. I don't demand anything. I come out here every night, and I fight for respect, and I earn respect. Chris Jericho likes to cheap shot people from behind. I don't do that either. I'll come right to your front door and I'll kick that door in. Chris Jericho likes to complain about how everybody in the world owes him something. I don't complain either. I don't ask for help. When I see a problem, I roll up my sleeves and I get to work and my work ain't pretty. There's a lot of black eyes, a lot of chipped teeth, a lot of big, ugly bruises in my line of work. And my line of work ain't easy from the minute I clock in to the minute I clock out. I'm either getting punched in the face or punching somebody in the face because that is what I do. Yeah, I'm going to keep it playing, guys. I'm going to get a Hartford, second. Connecticut. I will give Chris Jericho the opportunity to see what it is that I do up close and personal, face to face. So, Chris, lace up your scarf, light up your stupid little Christmas tree jacket, and get out here. Here 
careful what you ask for, lunatic. Erica looks perplexed. A six-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I like True Circus theme song, but I don't like the way that he's he is right now. I don't think Ambrose cares. I thought it's respectful he is. You disrespectful, stupid idiot. How dare you call me out, first of all. There's no way I'm wasting my time fighting you in a dump like this. Oh yeah, it's a dump. Whole place is a dump. Okay, even why are you here? <laughs> Shut up. He has so much to describe, like he's never gonna get loved. Unless he does something nice. You've forgotten who you're dealing with, Ambrose. Mm -hmm. I don't say I'm the best in the world. I am the best in the world at what I do. Do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? And in case you're like all these idiots and can't get it through your pea brain what I do, I'm going to remind you. What do I do? I win matches. I make history, I command respect, and I elevate But yeah, you command it, but you don't apparently get it right now. Like I got you, you, you command respect right now. Is that going anywhere with you? No. You should be <laughs> me, Ambrose, because this Sunday at Payback, I'm going to give you the match of your career, because just being in the same ring with me... I don't think that was the match of his career. A different level, baby. I don't... I don't know which one was the match of his career. I think the one, I think one of them versus Seth Rollins was one of them. Fact, <laughs> or like one when he ever was about to win a championship. Or even one with Brock Lesnar. Now that, that's the match of his career. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Why don't you get down on your knees and kiss my $1,500 boots right now? Ew. First of all. Because they're dirty. Second of all. $750 a boot. You see that, Ambrose? You know what, second thought, don't get down on your knees. Although if I wanted you to, you would, trust me. But this is what I want you to do. I want you, right now, to apologize to me. What? For what? You heard what I said. I want you to apologize to me. You stupid, look at me when I'm talking to you, idiot. Do you know going to tear you apart? You apologize to me for disrespecting me? and for stealing the highlight reel, and I want you to do it right now. Apologize now! Are you gonna be very sorry? Do it. What? What? Shut up! What? No! Oh crap! I'm gonna miss it! I... God, I hate it. I'm trying to plug in my Xbox controller charger. And I by accidentally shut off the Xbox by pressing the Xbox button. God damn it. Oh my god. Can anything go any worse? I just spilled my cup. Oh my god. Seriously? Great, now oh. Okay, I'll deal with this in a second. Okay, I'm back, I have a towel. Uh, it's all cleaned up. 
Oh. Probably missing so much. It looked like Dean Ambrose was going to attack Chris Jericho. Now I don't know what. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's see where it's at. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, they are attacking each other. Oh my god, calm down. Yes, Moomin will forever last. Yes, 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 yes. Stephanie decided she was going to 